Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury program. Today I want to talk about something that's a little bit politically incorrect. That's right, I want to talk about exotic straps. Now, if you're a bit queasy or you don't like um, endangered wildlife being used to make a watch strap, you might be best to skip this video. But uh, I want to have a talk to you about exotic straps. And um, to be completely honest with you, I've, I've sort of been a person who really doesn't see the point in killing animals to make a fancy strap. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd much prefer to have cow leather than actually exotic sort of, you know, reptiles or, or animals. But um, I'll, I'll tell you what's happened, okay? I, in my, my box of uh, watch straps, which I was sorting through the other day, I found this beautiful African ostrich strap. And uh, when I, I measured it, it was a perfect fit for my Patek Philippe and um, it got me thinking there about these straps and um, so let, let's let's have a bit of a a bit of a discussion on this here so uh, I've what I've actually done is I've actually fitted this African ostrich strap to my Patek and I just absolutely love it it's a really well made strap beautiful stitching on it all done perfectly and um, it's, it's, you can see it's a really quality strip, st sorry, strap because they've, uh, where the, the hold for the, for the strap after it goes through the buckle, it's got two of those holders in place and they're sewed into place. So it's, it's, it's really quite a, a lovely strap. And I just love the, the rich textures of the strap. It's got a beautiful patina and just a lovely feel to it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So that's my, my Patek Philippe in white gold with the um, African ostrich strap. And, I, and I, just, I just adore it. And, you know, I'm not one to normally go for exotic animal type straps. But I've got to be honest with you. I've also got a, a fake ostrich strap made out of calf leather pressed like an ostrich strap. And it doesn't feel anything like this African ostrich strap you know it's com the African ostrich strap is just so superior and I just love the fucking thing and uh, it's got me to to compare so on the screen you can see the uh, African ostrich straps and so now I'm just going to change that now and now you can see on the screen my Patek Philippe with its original strap which was actually a I believe it's a um, a crocodile Patek Philippe strap and now this is the original black strap that the watch came with and um, it's it's uh, the funny thing is I was working with this really classy woman and um, she actually said to me I, sh I was showing her my Patek and uh, because cause, man, I've got an interest in she's she she's got an interest in antiques and, and I, I really like this this lady and because uh, normally I don't don't show off my, my Patek or show it to anyone. No one knows what the fuck a Patek is. But I showed her my Patek and she goes, wow, that's crocodile strap. I said, how did you know that? She goes, oh, it's, uh, you can just tell if you know crocodile. And uh, she said, it's not, you can also tell fake crocodile, like leather that's been pressed into crocodile shape. And she said, no, that's, 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 that's genuine crocodile. The next strap I want to show you on the screen is a, uh, a black alligator strap, which is, uh, it's got a completely different feel to the Patek crocodile straps. This is alligator. Alligator is not as, um, um, it, it's different, it's different to crocodile, but, but, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, some people say crocodile is the top of the tree, but alligator's got a different sort of, uh, uh feel to it. And this is the, the black leather um, alligator strap which I must say I really really do love it's uh, it's just a gorgeous type of strap to have on the um, the piece there and uh, I've, 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 uh, I've really enjoyed having the black on the the piece there the next photo which I'm about to show you is the uh, my Jaeger Le Coultre, and it's got its original crocodile strap as well and this is the the Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso Grand Date, and that's the the original strap. And uh, I must say, 
even though the original strap is a little bit old now and um, I mean this this piece um, I bought the reverso actually my wife bought it for me last year and this the strap was the original one that came with the piece so it was sort of um, yeah, it was, it, 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 it's um, even though the Reverso Grand Date's not a, a super old model, it's the original strap, so it, it's probably got five, six, seven, eight years on it there. And uh, I've actually this is the the imitation ostrich strap which I fitted to it, and I, and I really did like it, but I don't know what it is, you know. It's uh, it's not real ostrich, and now that I've I've used the real ostrich strap on my my Patek, it feels nothing like the genuine one. So I'm a bit loath to actually use the the fake ostrich one that you can see on the screen here. So yep, that that's the situation with straps. Tell me what you think of exotic straps. Am I being stupid? Should I just say no, no exotic animals at all? Or um, what do you think? I don't. I don't really like to to uh, use these sort of animals like this. But I've got to say this to you: these exotic straps are fucking amazing. And uh, I, d I don't know what I can really say. I'm Archie Luxury, and give me your opinion.